everyone and welcome to Nowhere. My name is MD. I am a Sims 4 enthusiast and content creator. My two biggest mods right now are the Better Sim mod, which is in beta right now, and my hair dyes. If you want to check them out, you can go to the links in the description. I have already made some videos about it. If you want to know what that is all about, you can go there and check it out. But today, what I'm going to be doing is continuing my mod legacy. Last week, I started playing a legacy with a storyline. It was about a girl who basically ran away from her family with her little brother or maybe well she's just alone in life she decided to take care of her little brother and also a little kid called Evie she moved to Willow Creek and started a new life there so even if the beginning was slow I already got some info of on who they actually are and what they want to become and today I'm gonna start working towards their goals now let's let's a bit of a summary of what we have with them let's go to the game so we're back here in the game with aurora lucas and evie aurora is a family sim she wants to have a big happy family and right now my goal with her is to find a partner i want to know if she is going to have a traditional family or if she's just going to be this caretaker, this big uh, matriarch who just takes care of kids without the help of anyone else. Kind of like a single mom. <laughs> so that's the first thing I want to do with her. Find out if she wants to have a partner. Little Lucas right here. He is um, he's a creative boy. He wants to be an artistic prodigy. And I'm going to be working to work towards that goal. But I, I also want to make him... Uh, get some friends because he's gonna need that through through his life and also uh, my sims have kind of longer lifespan so i'm going to focus on socials a little more than the last time and here we have cute little evie right there she's just a toddler i want to work on her skills but what else can you do just work with her skills with with what we can i'm just gonna work what we can with her because there's not a lot of money here. And oh, of course, I need to work on that too. I want to find something that Aurora is passionate about. Let's see if that goes well. Now, I don't have any money for a nanny. So, little baby is just going to have to go to daycare. In the meantime, I, I want to know what Lucas needs. I'll go to sleep for now. He wants to... Oh, damn it. I should have locked that in earlier. <laughs> Go socialize with little Evie. She's sad. Oh, she was promoted. I almost didn't notice that. That's nice. She's got that's why she got so much money. Now that she got this this money, I think I'm gonna buy something from for them. I think they they need a computer. When I get the computer, she's gonna be able to try writing and some other stuff, and that's what I that's why I wanted. But I cannot afford the computer yet. Well, I think I'm gonna have to save up some more money. Or maybe I should go to the library. And I could probably meet someone there. But I need little Lucas to go to school and then and then Aurora can go to the library. Eva's thinking skill is real close to go up, so I'm gonna make her play shape and you go clean Aurora. Okay, so she tried comedy, but nothing. Okay, she's some funny, of course she's not gonna have a preference for it. Uh positive of this. But even if she's not funny, she doesn't hate comedy, so that's okay. Because that's normal. Just looking at the wall, that's how you play shapes. Okay, little Lucas should be going to school now, though. I'm gonna lock this level up in creativity because I'm gonna make him work with that. And be friendly with his sister because they need to be... They need to be good friends. I think they are already good friends, but I want to keep their relationship high. But yeah, I needed to fix Aurora's age because last time I checked she was about 29, 30 years old. And that's not what she's supposed to be. She's supposed to be... She's supposed to be 20 years old. So let me fix it. Okay, it makes sense now. He'd be sad. I was gonna say that in Spanish, but I'm gonna get my languages mixed up now that I think of it. Here's the thing. So if your toddler is hungry and is tired, you always have to fulfill the hunger first because that's what can make your toddler get taken away if they're just really tired they're gonna do they're gonna go nap in the floor but nothing bad's gonna happen so it's okay and after evie eats her meal i'm gonna take aurora to to the library to see if she likes writing and try some new stuff maybe meet some new people 
Okay, let's go to the library. There you go. I think I'm gonna take Nate. Because even though he's evil, he might be a good friend. We don't know. And also, I really want to give him a makeover. He deserves it. He needs it, at least. Great, my sim has no torso. This happens usually because I have this leg slider. Leg height slider. Yeah, leg length slider. And it conflicts with the height slider. So sometimes my sims appear without the torso. And even though I tried to replace the height slider with some other sliders that were compatible with the leg length, it was messing up my game. And now... This combination also messes up my game, but I just I just really like to make this cartoony pro proportions where the legs are really, really long. And I don't know, maybe the proportions are not even cartoony, but you know how everyone has different proportions. Sometimes people have shorter torsos and that's just how people look. And I wanted to achieve that in the Sims and this is what happens when I want to be a bit more realistic in Sims 4. Yes. <laughs> well, no, the, the first thing I want to do is really to give Nate a makeover because he's really cute, but that preceding hairline is just blocking all the good views. I'm gonna check first what his traits are because I want to know if he has any preference. So he's a foodie. He's got masculine fashion, frame. That, oh, he, he has hipster style and he loves color red. So I'm gonna try to keep that. But because this is uh, just another scene, I'm not going to make you see all the transformation. I'm just gonna show you his makeover when it's done. Oh, oh, oh I know I told you I'm not gonna show you Cass, but the thing is I am working on something that's gonna be useful for some people, I think. There's something I hate about The Sims 4 is the fact that you can uh, use the same hairstyles and the same clothes and the same everything in all the ages. I wanted to restrict that a little bit just to make the sims feel more like they are their actual age. And because of that I am blocking something that shouldn't be there. So you saw how in game he had the receding hairline when I loaded him in cast. He doesn't have it because I recategorized that, that hairstyle to be just for adults and older. Adults and elders. Yes. As you can see I am trying to keep it a little bit broad so I have a lot of options. But at the same time, I block the things that don't really make sense. I, th I think I'm going to do the same for this one. I don't know if that's gonna be fine. But yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm working on a clothing and hair recategorizing for the Sims 4. And if you want to know more about that, you can go to the Discord and talk to me to see what all the other things that I'm making. <laughs> okay, so here is the new and improved Nate. He's looking a lot cuter. I changed his hair color because his eyebrows were always blonde and I imagine that's his natural color and just the uh, hair was a little bit broken. Yeah, let's jump back to the game. Okay, he's looking much better. I forgot that being with him is gonna make her sad sometimes. Okay, maybe being friends with Nate is not a really good idea. Goodbye. <laughs> now she's mad. But what about this cute looking guy? Let's see, who is he? I don't know who he is, but let's say hi. So I got the first impressions mod and this is gonna help me find out. This is gonna help me figure out relationships. I really love this mod, so you should go check it out as well. And I'm thinking about making a list of mods and explaining what those mods do and how you can use them. Maybe a video about it. And uh, let me know what you think about that. Would you like to know more about this mod I'm always talking about? So she doesn't like him. Let's go. Let's go try to write something. I wanna. I wanna know if she likes writing, because if she does, that's gonna be really useful. Just mad writing. Okay, now she tried it and nothing. What else can I try here? Programming. Yeah. What if she likes programming? I need to know. Nope. Programming not. Okay, they, there are some skill books here, and I think I'm gonna try some things to see if she likes anything of this. I'm gonna make her try mixology, but no, nothing. Let's try the guitar. Not really. 
What other skills are there? But oh, I'll also... Lucas is back home and I think I'm gonna have to go back home to... Oh, I'm gonna try handing this first and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go back home because I wanna oh or maybe I can take no 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 I'm gonna go back home. What an undecisive person I am. Ah, oh, me sometimes. So go go. Not really. That's fine. She she's gonna rethink all of these skills later, so she might get something moving forward. <laughs> Time to go home, and I am not just gonna send her home. Through that, I'm gonna. Press M and then go back home because this is a faster way to go back home and not gonna take Nate with me because he's evil. We're back home and so far she doesn't have any passion for anything else. She The only passion that she has in life is to be a mother. She just wants to be a mom. So I think I'm gonna have to, I um, think I'm gonna have to focus on other things like relationships. So far, the best candidates for Aurora are Luis, Ian, and Paul. So I think I'm gonna come call them all and bring them home and just talk to them. And why not? Liberty Lee is here, so let's befriend her. And while Aurora is working in that, let's see what little Lucas can do. So I need to find a way to get him inspired. I'm gonna take a thoughtful shower after this and start some painting. Oh, there you go. Don't go to sleep! Your guests, your guests are here. What a nice guy, he came here to clean up my dishes. Did you see that? Maybe he likes her, so that could be a good sign. They already have sentiment, but I can't see it. Where is he? Okay, so they're closer from happy memories. They're friends now. Let's be nice to him. And Lucas is asleep. I think I'm losing track of what they have to do. Oh god, there's a pile of trash here. I'm gonna throw it for them. Ibi is gonna age up in four days, so I need, I really need to get her skills a little higher. Let's go with imagination. It's the closest to go to level to level three. And because I know I have this mod, I think I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna go to the Steam that dating app to see if I can find someone for Aurora. Specific date. Yeah, she's she she's looking for something serious. Let's go there. But I don't know if this. But is the date gonna be right now? Because if it is, then I should probably cancel it. She's feeling miserable. No, 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 I regret this. Take care of your needs, girl. Time to send everyone home. Okay, she's got her imagination, communication, and movement right. Uh, now I need to, I now I need to work on potty. So let's go eat a meal because, because I really like to play with toddlers. They're really, really, really cute. Look at this one. He shouldn't have gone to sleep. I don't know why I let why I let him do that, but now he's inspired, so I need to start drawing things. What else? Just some quality time. That's really cute. I want to know if the relationship is better. She's now friends with Aurora, and she's friends with Lucas. But I really want to get their relationship higher. Oh, nice! He got something here. He wants to draw something now and admire Arden. I can probably do that. I'm gonna wake up Aurora for a little bit now. Just going to throw this away, use the bathroom, and then she can go back to sleep. The kids are doing quite well right now. So that's nice, good progress. But yeah, you should probably keep keep drawing. He's, he's, he's has some time. Oh, nice. You will work on your potty. Okay, I'm doing a great progress here. Now, this is something that doesn't really make sense. He wants to buy a, and wear a romance festival t-shirt. Is that something that kids can do? I don't know. And yeah, 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 I did. Yeah, I already added city living to my gameplay because I'm currently working on the city living module. I don't quite have a lot of things set up uh, right now, but for the next episode, everything is going to be fully functional. I think. I hope so. So, next DLC, I think I'm going to be adding to my gameplay and also to my to my mod i think it's gonna be parenthood because i really miss the character values and some other gameplay that comes from that first one was get to work the second one city living and now parenthood oh damn it <laughs> she should have sailed sleep uh oh she's gonna be so tired okay 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 go to work you can go back to sleep later you need the money i'm sorry honey you need the money mm -mm. Just go. Okay, she made some good money. Literally, we can go back to sleep. Little Lucas is doing fairly well in school, so I think I'm gonna make 
him make some friends. He can do that. He's already made a friend. <laughs> nice. Lucas has a really nice project in the uh, artistic prodigy thing. He just needs to draw all the five types of pictures in the activity table and he's ready for the next set of goals. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go, 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 go here. Good, I already have some food there. What are you doing? Let her eat. So clean or something. Oh my god. Yeah, so because of my travel traveling rules, I don't think she can go to the festival. To actually go to the festival, she would need to rent a place there. And she doesn't have any money to do that, so I'm just gonna close this. Oh, but she can go to Magnolia Promenade because this is Willow Creek. And Willow Creek is in the same region as Magnolia Promenade. Newcrest is in the same region as San Maishuno, so if she lived in Newcrest, she could go to San Maishuno easily. Or she could also go to Newcrest and rent a place there, and then go to San Maishuno to visit. Yeah, that's how that's how I play, that's part of my rules. Little Evie wants to go potty and kill, uh, and kill up communication. And I'm gonna make them bond a little bit and also try to fulfill the communication skill for Little Evie, because she is interested in that. <laughs> Why is she crying? Why is she so sad? Oh, well, she needs amusement. And she's a little bit... Okay, she needs attention and amusement. I hope this will be good for her. Go talk to little Evie. She needs some She needs some attention. She's so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Aurora seems to have an illness, and I don't know what it is. Aurora's brain feels about three and a half sizes too large for the headspace provided. I hope it's nothing too bad. Oh, so she's double sad now. Great. Now she wants to get imagination and potty. But she needs a bath. She badly needs a bath. Okay, he's in bed early and that's fine. But he's not tired yet, so I think I can make him do more stuff. Okay, I think she hasn't tried fitness fishing yet. Yet. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna make her try fishing. I just really hope she likes nothing special yet. Okay, feeling better. Feeling a lot better. So I've been thinking about making the house smaller because I don't think they need all this space. And Aurora needs some money, so I think I'm gonna do that. I don't know. I know that this is not how things work in real life, but this is the same. Realistic is something you use to make things a little bit more relatable, but not something to make you hate the game. Okay, so the kitchen is a bit smaller, but not a lot. Seems fine. Okay, okay, so we got we got a trade. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. So oh, this is interesting. So because she got a new preference. She got this trait called star material. That means she's probably gonna be good in an en in an entertainer career or something like that. So I think I'm gonna have to change her career now, and that's really good because the entertainer career pays a lot more than what she has right now. And she also has the become a perfect host once, so she's really into parties. And I think I'm gonna use this to give her a secondary aspiration. So there you go, big happy family. Yeah, I know that. Mm. Now I wonder where there, where did I leave the secondary aspirations? I think I'm gonna have to fix some things from the menu, but that's okay. You know what? I catched a mistake, so I think I'm gonna fix that today. And in the meantime, I'm gonna add the secondary trait through the add trait sheet, and that's it. So there you go. Now she has a socialite. Uh, secondary aspirations. She's gonna get some more whims and wants and some other bonuses from that. And because she changed what she likes, she now wants to. She, now we know that she's a, she has she is a star material. I'm gonna change her career to something more stable. Well, as uh, same with star material, I think style influencer, social media or entertainer are good choices. Now, because I, I would like to do a poll, but right now I don't have anyone watching me. So I'm gonna randomize the number and two, one, two, nine, and I'm gonna choose one of these three options for her. Is if it's one to three, she's gonna be a style influencer. If it's four to six, it's gonna be social media. And if it's seven to nine, it's gonna be an entertainer. I'm going to click one, two, and three times. 
So it was nine, and I'm gonna choose the entertainer career for her. She's gonna be an amateur entertainer. Now that she got a new career and some new traits, I think I'm gonna focus on her relationships for this weekend. I think she's gonna go somewhere nice to try and meet new people. And probably the best choice is to go to the park, because she can take the kids there, she can meet new people there, probably all their family-oriented sims. And I'm going to fulfill some of their needs to make sure that they do well in the park, and that's it. Maybe the meals are the cutest family moments. <laughs> okay, so, wow. What a great guy. Lucas is already playing with his friend. What's his name again? Alexander. And you don't know this because I erased that from the other from the other gameplay, but he made friends with Alexander. It was just a a little bit of conversation. But I think they can be really good friends. He's a creative one and Alexander seems to be like the brainy one. But seems like a good good friendship. And also Olivia is here. Nice, I'm gonna let him be free and do whatever, whatever. And I'm gonna go ahead and meet this this guy because I haven't met him before. So meet him. No, 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 don't leave. Where are you going? No, 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 I'm gonna pause. Damn it. So bad. Then I think I'm gonna meet more people here. She met someone new. She wants to go to the lounge now. Okay, that's still cool. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I have some scenes from the gallery and he spawned as a random. So, yeah, let's see what she does thinks about him so she thinks he's attractive but she also thinks he's weird and he thinks she's annoying so i don't think this is gonna oh he's an elder okay never mind he's an elder and he's weird so what does she think about mao so Mao's is attractive and she thinks he's funny but mm, he thinks she is clingy so that mm, probably means that he's uh, not a uh, famous him oh the weird him there you go now say hi. He seems to be angry. Okay, there we go. So this is something nice. She thinks Kenneth is attractive. She also thinks she he, she also thinks he's sophisticated, and this seems fine. So I think that probably are compatible. I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, and they got a really good relationship at first. I think this is going really well. I'm gonna have. I, I decided I'm going to pursue the this relationship. Oh, this is great. So he likes white hips and I don't know if she has white hips. Let's see. Well, no, her hips seem to be narrow. I don't know if he's gonna like her. But maybe it's, maybe it's gonna be something that goes beyond just personal... Uh, beyond just appearance. They could like each other's personality. But he's unemployed, so... Well, maybe he can get a, war a job later. Oh, he's not going! Just like her! And he likes big booty. Oh, okay. Could you talk about something not so... Uh, what about the eyes or maybe the hair? I wanna know that kind of things. Please. He likes muscular women. I, I need to know more. Well, you know what? I just think they're gonna get to know each other. And maybe flirt a little bit. Ask him a date. I think I'm gonna ask him on a date here. Now let's get away of these guys and go chat here. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I for I completely forgot about Evie. That was not good. But okay, she seems to be well taken care of. But she put her diaper and she's really tired. So I'm just gonna make her sleep here a little bit. Oh god, I completely forgot about the kid. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh god. I shouldn't have forgotten about her. Well, at least at, at least she's getting her movement skill up. Mm. I sent her on a date. I don't know why she is in the same group with all of this. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to fix that. Where is her date? Oh, it's him. I'm so silly. Uh oh, maybe no. Maybe don't be yourself first. Yeah. As long as he was not hungry, we're gonna be fine. Okay, okay, something went wrong and I don't know what it is. I think I need a screenshot right now. Oh, that's a, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, now we're fine. If it took a nap, so it's fine. Oh, but she looks kind of scared. <gasps> we can do their first kiss now. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Okay, I need a nice screenshot of this too. There you go. It, it, lo it looks nice now. Now from this angle, everything's a bit different. Yeah, they look weird. <laughs> So cute. Why did he do that? Is he mean or something? So he's 
Yeah, he's jealous, he's outgoing, he's an art lover. Everything seems fine from now, but I think he might be evil or mean because he's done some weird interactions and they like each other and that's just cute. Now she can flip. Where is he going? Oh, he's going to the bathroom. Now how be Oh, I shouldn't have... Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna send baby Evie home because... Or to the daycare. Oh, she cannot go home. Oh, that's so sad. But maybe someone grilled something and Evie's gonna have... No one grilled anything. As long as she's fed, she's gonna be fine. So in the meantime, I think I'm going to make something. I'm gonna make some grilled chicken, especially for, for Evie. Oh no, she's gone. <laughs> I should have paid more attention to her needs, but I think this date went um, decent. I just want to flirt with him to get it to silver at least. And then, and then we're gonna go home. And then, yeah, I knew I had to get their their needs up, but I don't know. I just wanted to do this. Okay, okay, wake up, wake up, go flirt, and then we can end the date and go home. Oh, and he also went. So that's probably some bad CC. Oh, and that's so sad because I really love this dress. Or maybe an issue with my height slider because this is supposed to be an adult and this is supposed to be a teen. And in my game, teens are shorter yeah but things are shorter but the same is just really short i don't know maybe it's a weird glitch with my with my custom sliders yes that that might be it. i don't want the toddler to be here because if she's there when they are flirting she could get some weird relationship with adults and i don't want that to happen so uh i think i'm gonna end date and go back home they're miserable, it's enough. Okay, okay, okay. So Aurora now, now has a, a really nice romantic prospect. Romantic interest. She likes Kenneth. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> I was so scared. <laughs> For a second I thought Evie was lost or something. I, uh, oh, I forgot I was doing this with Evie. I was doing this with Evie. Okay, we're back home and I think I'm gonna make Evie eat something because I don't want her to be taken away. Aurora's gonna go to sleep right now. Lucas is doing fine. I think that's why I didn't pay attention to him. He's just fine. And he's friends with Alexander. He met Miles. Also Olivia. And he knows Pocahontas now. Yeah, you know, that's something that comes with. Yeah, I have some weird characters in my library. <laughs> Actually, if you'd like to see your sims maybe appearing in my gameplays, let me know your, your origin ID so I can look up your creations and download some of them to my library because I like to have a lot of characters spawn in my game and yeah, let me know what your origin ID is, let's be friends, I might want to go check your creations because I really love some of the things all of you do, it's just amazing how creative people is with this game. So I think I'm gonna make little Lucas draw a lot of things and he's gonna have his own business. He's gonna sell all his things. Now he just earned 36 simoleons and I'm gonna open a main account at Sim National Bank. I'm gonna open an account for him and I'm going to deposit those 16 simoleons. He's an independent boy and I like that about him. He's gonna need that in the future. He's a little entrepreneur. Oh, this is a good one. I'm gonna make him draw some people. And now I would feel bad if I was making him draw and selling his paintings to make money for the household. But because the money's for him, I think was, I'm, I'm I think I'm okay with with selling the the kids' drawings. Now Aurora doesn't have a lot of money, and that's why she can't buy a lot of things for him. And I think he's gonna be the kind of little gentleman that that just saves up the money and he buys his own stuff that yeah he's independent he's really smart and he's really creative so that's the type of little guy that lucas is oh 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 so it's almost Evie's birthday and she is pretty okay with the oh she got to level five of the movement skill while, while she was just m moving around in the park that's really nice and she's near level four of things so that's great that's amazing i think i'm gonna wake her up just for a little bit and make her improve that thinking skill because I want to get her skills as high as possible 
for her birthday. And her birthday is... It's okay, it's today, I guess. I, th I guess I'm gonna throw a party for her. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I need to get there. Uh, now I do need to get there. There. Their moods up. Okay, Evie got the skill that I wanted her to have. No, Evie. You're gonna need a bath first. You're gonna feel so much better after the bath. They're gonna get some snacks and share a cute moment as a family. Great floating stuff. Now it's time. It's time for the birthday. But first, we need a round of cleanup. We need to clean the house a little bit. Or maybe a lot. Okay, Luis, you can come. Today is, is Evie's birthday, so this is amazing. And as you can see, I have uh, dust bunnies and those other creatures disabled. I really don't, I don't like them at all. I don't like them at all. I have to admit that. And I have some mods for that uh, that I think I'm gonna be linking down below as well. Yes, so mods for dust dust. House dusty, but I want the house to be perfect. Okay, now. Now it's time. It's time to start the party. But I think I'm gonna make little this little guy. Can he know that he can invite Olivia, Billy, and Alexander? Because those are the kids that we know. This is gonna plan a social event. Sorry, Kenneth. The birthday party is first. This is gonna be a birthday party. I think we do have enough money for that. But it's gonna be a little expense for Evie. And I'm going to invite... Okay, let's... In, let's invite Aurora's friends as well as... Okay, Aurora's friends and yeah, let's invite Aurora's friends. Hi, how many times have I said have I said that? As well as Lucas' friends. Okay, we're gonna be here. I think this is the perfect opportunity for them to get um, cereal. I'm gonna get this chipster because that's everything we can afford. It's gonna be great. <coughs> I'm gonna so she's serving mac and cheese and she's also gonna make a cake. Why is she so sad? Oh, okay, honey, go get your mac and cheese. Now, he's gonna be the one who carries the party. Oh, what a disgraceful cake, but whatever. Anything for a little Evie. Maybe that's not the right phrase, but whatever. That's all we can do right now. Okay, only little... Who did this little guy came here? Hmm, probably introduction. Okay, go listen to music. You're eating. Nice. People's eating food. Evie's doing well. Evie's dancing. That's amazing. I think I can stretch one last party. I think I can do this with... I think I can make her level up her party skill in the party. I really hope I can do that for her. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have made the event gold. You're really close. Go, go, go. Just, just go. Just go. Oh, damn. Now little Eve is gonna age up. Oh, I'm so excited! I wanna get a screenshot of this. So little little Evie aged up, and well, so she got she got really good in in the mental, motor, and social department. Also some creativity. I'm going to randomize traits three times to see what I get. But if I have something that I really don't think suits the little girl, I think I'm gonna change it. Well, I'm gonna randomize until I get something I feel like really suits her. So, I think this is something that really suits her. She got uh, gloomy, self-assured, and free spirit. Yeah, I think this is something that's gonna go well with her character. She might be gloomy because through all her, her lifespan until now, she's been sad all the time. She's been mostly sad, so gloomy kind of really fits her. She's gonna need to be self-assured because... She's an only child, she's an orphan, she doesn't know her biological family, and she needs to be confident to overcome all these difficulties. And a free spirit, because she's from a really, really easygoing household. Well, she doesn't have a lot of strict rules, uh, she's got a lot of love in her family. Oh, oh, damn it! I shouldn't have done that, I'm gonna have to fix this. And I'm going to choose the grow up. Aspiration because I want to know what she wants to do. Oh, no, not not clap toe. Damn it I think I'm gonna have to change this later. I messed up. She looks kind of crazy, but it's I love it Oh god, little Libby just hit me. <laughs> little Libby is a kid right now. She's not a toddler anymore <laughs> I'm starting to get attached to the Sims and this is something that never happened to me before. Oh god. <laughs> I'm so excited Yes, this this were the trait. I messed up Oh, we already got something. So I think this might be something that comes from the 
other traits that she got but she wants to be a social butterfly and i think i'm gonna choose that yeah she wants to be a social butterfly and i think that makes well that could make sense for her she's still telling us who she is and i'm just so excited about this lucas what are you doing what why are you taking a bath in the middle of the birthday party okay whatever <laughs> seems like it's time to wrap it up and also in a very good moment because we are at the end of the birthday party little evie just ate up to a kid and she's so cute i i haven't had a chance to look at her okay let's change her outfit yeah so she's really cute she's got a bit of a weird a bit of a weird outfit but that's okay and she's now a child i'm so excited to continue playing with them it has been a really really good episode we found a potential partner for aurora we achieved a lot of things for little lucas and evie is no longer a toddler she's a child now and she's also a social butterfly so uh, i'm really excited to see what they will become and what they will do on the next episode and that is going to be next week so now i'm gonna talk to you a bit about my my schedule for this next month so i am going to be streaming here on discord um because i am streaming in discord right now uh twice a week i'm gonna be streaming my english gameplays on tuesday and i'm gonna be streaming in spanish on thursday because that's the other big news i'm gonna be translating my mods and also creating more content in spanish as well i am gonna be waiting for all of you on the discord um yeah this is everything i have to say right now we end up with this really nice image of new little girl evie and this is all for now I hope to see you next week. I'm really excited about all of this. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with my voice. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. Bye.